just uh, make sure that your podcast has a culture that people um, can refer to. So ask yourself mm. the question, what do you want to be known for? You're listening to Let's Get Stabby. I'm your host, Lauren Andrews. Join me as we poke holes in the patriarchy by sharing the stories of badass women founders. Tune in to hear directly from these unicorns who are using their businesses to make the world a better place. If you're wanting more sisterhood and solidarity in your life, I'd like to invite you to join our next magic hour. You can learn more at unicornexchange.com slash events. Without further ado, let's get stabby. I'm here with Sonia Martinovic. She has over 15 years of sales management training and multiple eight-figure businesses, and she's taken that expertise into our corner of the internet to lead the way in business success through her amazing coaching and podcast. And she's just constantly spitting out knowledge and wisdom guys. And let me tell you this, my favorite thing about Sonia is she is a alignment and intuition guru that knows the alchemy when it comes to the law of attraction. Sonia, I am so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for being a guest and what an amazing introduction. Oh, so fun. So as tradition goes, I'm going to pull a icebreaker question from the best self icebreaker deck for you. Sometimes I pick them beforehand, but today in the spirit of intuition, I thought I would just do it on the spot. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ooh, this one's good. I feel like I haven't even seen this one before. Describe a life lesson that took you more than once to learn. Wow, what a good question. I need to get that stack. So a life lesson which took you more than once to learn. Yeah, I think definitely surrendering to Ooh. what's happening. <laughs> and it's still a life lesson that I still didn't learn completely. It's every <laughs> single day that I need to say, okay, this is what is happening right now. Surrender and trust that uh, you are on the right path and mm. trust that this is going to be exactly how it needs to be and you cannot control the outcome or the timing or whatever so uh, i think surrendering has been the biggest challenge for me and um but i love my challenge because uh, it didn't feel good to stay stuck with expectations or to stay stuck with yeah. wanting a specific outcome because that's not coherent with life right so once sure. you once you once you get in your head then nothing happens right so once yeah. you start <laughs> accepting once you start accepting and surrendering and going with the flow and changing even in a period right now with covid and everything going on start adapting start really looking at what is going on then you can make the best of uh, what is happening in life right now and in business and with yourself oh, i currently agree Currently agree. Totally agree. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say is I'm currently we reading. We don't know how she feel, will feel tomorrow, but. <laughs> tomorrow I might not. <laughs> um, I'm currently reading. I totally agree. And I'm currently reading um, Get Rich Lucky Bitch um, by Denise DT. And she really kind of like goes in and talks about how it's those little things and those little moves of energy and going kind of with with that surrendering to what's around you. So that I love that. Um, but one thing that you are currently surrendering to, and I am as well as we are in the woes of podcast launch. Yes. <laughs> so exciting. So we both kind of happenstance didn't talk about it we both decided we were going to launch a podcast around the same time and we both were originally thinking about January 20 something which is moved to February something so I am so curious I'd love to just dive in to podcasting so what made you want to start a podcast so it's very simple I love to talk <laughs> that's it no yeah and I, I really love to talk because once I talk I get some inspiration and once I get in that flow right I feel that I'm not 100% in my body it's just mm. uh, there is a message I need to 
to to influence people with and it's not directly mine so that's what i love about uh, podcasting also that you can speak to for example experts and other people and i really thrive on connecting with people i really thrive on a flow and energy and when you feel that goosebumps and things are falling into place and you start networking and working together with other people creating even more and bigger things than you could ever do on your own because proximity is power. So podcasting is an amazing tool. I didn't even expect to love it so much. I so fell in love with it, Lauren, the last couple of times. And, you know, and I'm just starting out. I'm just launching. So, um, yeah, thanks for for the sign of the universe for me to do this right now, because I was planning to do this later on. And then a business coach told me, why don't you do a podcast like two or three simple episodes? I thought, no, 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 we're not going to do two or three simple. We're going to take this big. And then the inspiration started coming. So yeah, I'm in love with it. Honestly. Oh my God. That's so great. It, it's so funny that you said that you did this because you love talking. The first thing that came to my mind is I love listening. Um, so I'd much <laughs> rather actually be the interviewer than the interviewee. So I'm curious if that's the same for you. Do you actually like, do you prefer to just be kind of doing a monologue or what really is the style of the vault that so the vault has two things it's the vault is for two things so the vault is first of all getting this amazing knowledge and skills into the vault so that that is like a wealth of knowledge and uh that makes me listen to everything and soak everything in from big experts and really really dive deep into that so that that is what i love about the expert side of the vault but the vault is also about diving deeper and there is where i get to do a little bit more talking where i really help people transform and break free so find the combination to their vault and unlock this authentic side of themselves, authentic side of business, and this dream, which will help influence other people's lives. For example, if they want to open an influencer's business, I'm really going to help them crush those limiting beliefs, crush anything that holds them back, and just, let's just do this, right? So uh, there is two sides of the vault. So the expert side, the me side, um, uh, or yeah, and one listening side and one talking side. And that's the combination of all of that makes me love it because so it's exactly, fun. yeah. I don't, so how talk. do you feel about it, Lauren? <laughs> yeah, I am so excited to, I mean, you've told me a bit of who you have on and what you're going to be talking about. And I'm yeah. super pumped to <laughs> tune in and me hear too. these episodes. It's going to be so much fun. I'm curious because we have a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs that are listening and probably a good portion of them are curious about launching their own podcast. I feel like the saying goes, everyone needs their own podcast, which Mm. I think I agree. Um, (laughs) No, I do. (laughs) But I'm curious, how have you been approaching your launch strategy? I know there's a lot of noise out there of you should do this exact 55, 7 million step to get your number one ranking and to get all the exposure. And I'm curious what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm curious if they're lining up. So I, I'm not a hundred percent like uh, nailed down a hundred percent strategy. So as I said, I have someone advising me in how to take the launch strategy, like in a very strategic way, of course. Um, mm-hmm. But, and which actually gets you to the charts and i believe in Mm -hmm. that because i do a high ticket coaching on facebook too so there are strategies leading you up to a result but (laughs) and there is a big but because in the end you need to be authentic you need to be energized so if you feel like i felt yesterday i'm going to share the date the name and the artwork of my podcast, I just did that because it felt good. So you should also stay authentic. And uh, for example, I know one of my strengths is actually networking with people, actually saying, hey, this is my mission. 
I'm so passionate. I'm going to tell you more about it. This is what you can get out of it. Please come and support me and let me know what I can do for you. That's yeah. more my style. So in that way, I'm kind of stubborn and just listening to my own intuition in how I feel that I should do it. Will it work? Yeah. I cannot guarantee. We will see, right? So make sure you follow the vault and see if uh, <laughs> the strategy has worked. So fun. I, I was on Clubhouse the other day and there was a really interesting conversation going on about, uh, you know, watching your podcast and what you need to know and do and blah, 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 blah. And so I got on, raised my hand, asked a question of, hey, is there any thing that I'm missing. This is my strategy Mm. to, you know, make the charts. Mm. And I think there's like some really common things that, you know, circulate of, you know, once you go live, make sure you have multiple episodes, make sure you get them all downloaded, Mm -hmm. get those reviews, get those comments, you know, just tons of engagement, kind of essentially any launch strategy. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, you know, and the, I think he was like the lead partner of lib sync or, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was like, ah, you know, that's kind of like fine, but no promises on what that's actually going to do. Really. Mm-hmm. You need to focus on SEO. And I mm-hmm. thought that was super, it kind of threw me for a curveball there. Yeah. Just because <laughs> I was like, you, we hear so much hype of like, do these exact things. I'm like, oh no, have I fallen into the traps that we're all in? And um, so anyway, they kind of preached SEO and playing the long game. Curious with you talking about authenticity and also hearing this SEO kind of side of things. Yeah. What else are you really focusing on when it comes to getting your message out there? Are there any other strategies that you feel really called to share? Yeah. So uh, how I'm approaching it and it's just like I'm introducing the day of the launch, uh, eight or 10, I'm doubting between eight or 10 launch uh, episodes. These are going to be short, valuable episodes where I also, I think as a podcast host, you should make your guest feel super good and make 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 them look the best that they can because as a podcast host you really want to help your guests too with some visibility and reach in audience and getting the message across right this is exactly what you also want from uh for for them to do to you so i think that's one uh important thing just really uh, do some research reach out to the people do also do customer service with them so make them feel welcome do maybe a present afterwards make sure you are being the best podcast host you can be and uh with the 10 minutes um um launch interviews i think you can grab people's attention to come in but it, it's not too much of time that they have to spend not not like hours of interview it's just like grabbing the best nuggets 10 minutes for eight times and then the, then dragging them all in <laughs> within the uh, 48 hours so that you actually can reach um uh, the, the status of noteworthy podcast because then the algorithm SEO starts pushing you, right? So that's a little yeah. bit of strategy. And then just making people curious for the follow-up or how to actually launch the bigger interview. And you can do 20, I do 20 minutes if it's like a major guest, which I'm interviewing tonight, then it's maybe going to be a little bit longer, but just uh, make sure that your podcast has a culture that people um, can refer to. So ask yourself Mm. the question, what do you want to be known for? Right. So first of all, what do you want to be known for? And second of all, this is, this is applies also to high ticket coaching and whatever you're doing, make sure, you know, try to, to obsess about how, um, who your client is. I so, love that. yeah, then you can find solutions. I'm talking to my audience while I'm recording my podcast because sometimes you just got sucked into the interview. But on the other hand, you think, listen, guys, this is important. And make sure you take notes, make sure you take action because there is where the change is. So get to know your audience and be obsessed about really delivering amazing value for your audience. I think just being the best host you can be. So for your guests, but also for your audience. 
That's so great. I love that you said, make sure your podcast has a culture. I think so often we go back in anything business-wise, we see someone doing something and we're like, oh, that's the way to do it. And we lose our own unique spark in it. And I just really, really love that nugget that you just said. How would you describe the culture of the vault? So the culture of the vault are definitely people who are into self-development. They have this big dream. I, I'm, I'm talking about this crazy vision, right? Where you think, oh, whatever, this is not possible. Or, uh, oh, uh, I, I'm not worthy. Or I need to have more skills. Or success is for a special kind of people. And I just want to break all that limiting stories with the vault and people who actually did it and not only like experts like who already like served millions of people in life but also people who really do something authentic and special and create their dream and create a culture and create that outcome they are passionate about so the vault is uh the, the listener of the vault is someone who maybe is coasted and uh, as Everybody of us has some things that are stuck and very hard to remove, but we are going to do everything we can to find your combination so that you can break through and be the best possible business owner, entrepreneur, coach, speaker, or influencer that you can be. Because if we can influence your life, you can influence other people's lives. And I think there is nothing more important you can do right now in this situation then help other people improve the quality of their lives. So wh mm. whichever new influencer we create in the market, um, thousands of lives are influenced. And that's what, what I'm doing this for, because we have the next generation to take care of. We want to leave a legacy behind. And it's not only my kids I'm doing it for, it's also all the other kids, right, who are in this kind of challenging situation which is happening right now. So that gives me only extra boost to really put everything that I've got and my experience into the vault and getting this amazing people on board helping me achieve this mission. Oh, I love that. And all of that, I'm curious, this is kind of a shift in direction, but it came up for me. I'm curious what has been the biggest challenge so far in getting this puppy running for you mean the the vault mm -hmm. uh i would say i think or has there been yeah not, not really because i, I you know it, uh, i thought in the beginning it would be like getting like amazing guests but it's not you yeah. just need to communicate and you, you need to know what you're doing, where you're heading and who you want with you. And then just start putting your best energies into making that happen. Right. Just believing in that outcome. I just also already, see, yeah, I already see some amazing guests in my head, <laughs> yeah. which will show up in reality, hopefully in the future and uh, actually contributing to this. But the biggest challenge I think for me is tech. It's always tech because tech mm -hmm. drains me, right? So, for um, sure. but then on the other end, once I picked my music, it's amazing, Lauren, it's so cool. And yeah. uh, I've been searching for hours, you know, and I thought I'm never going to find something that really fits me until I clicked the button. And I thought, oh my God, this is so this amazing. Is this is it. And that excitement, you know, and then I took that excitement and uh, I'm not techie, but once I started putting it into Audacity, what, which I'm using right now, um, and, and just figuring stuff out, I thought, this is not too bad. You yeah. know, I'm having fun with it because I'm, I'm on a mission, but of course I have an editor doing that for me right now because I really want to get the mission across. But just to say, uh, you can always change your perspective towards something. So I don't like tech because I like creating. I like speaking. I like interviewing. I like coaching. I don't like tech specifically, but sometimes it's just good to be a little bit in the process and change <laughs> perspective, <laughs> change sure. your perspective about things that are holding you back. Because if you can handle things that hold you back, that, that's what it's all about. It's also improving your worst self, not only getting to your best self. You need to improve your worst self because the, your worst self is the one that will show up when you get the next big challenge, right? So yeah, mission should be improve your worst self. 
Mm, I love that. I love going back to what you first started off with of how you thought that the, you know, finding guests, that that was going to be the hard part of all of this. And it's been so easy. I, I actually had the same experience. I was just like, man, finding like really good people that I really want to dive into conversations rather than just interviews. I think that might be difficult, but it hasn't been at all. I actually have only reached out to one group and have been booked. I mean, I have like almost 50 interview schedule. It's, it's almost overwhelming. Um, (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's been great. And I am curious what your journey's been um, specifically because you, right before we started recording earlier, you told me of a (laughs) message that you sent to a really, really big um, influencer, I guess you could say. And I thought it was really ballsy and I loved it. Yeah, so I'm going to speak my truth. Uh, uh, When you start trusting your intuition, great stuff is happening. So uh, normally people would have a limitation towards reaching out guests like these. And I didn't. I thought, you know what? I want you because I think you are an amazing addition to my audience. Yeah. Yeah amazing addition to the vault and actually you align very much with me so (laughs) we can have fun we can we can make it like a very fun interview too and a very valuable interview so I have nothing to lose that is my mindset I have nothing to lose and I wasn't expecting and I got also a message back from another like major influencer I thought oh is that even possible? You know, so I just did a happy dance, like, because everything was happening in those two days that I was thinking, oh my God, these are amazing people because they really care about the mission. So don't, don't underestimate your mission and other people who are super successful, like uh, impacting millions of lives might be willing to pay it forward because they uh, are not only in it for the money. These are really they really care about your growth so they will say they might might say yes so I do you mind sharing that first sentence that you sent to this guy so I I I must be crazy for doing this (laughs) that was my that was my like opening line I must be crazy for doing this but um I think that However crazy this is, it would be even more nice if you can come on my podcast. And then I started introducing him to my mission and that I wanted to influence new influencers and that people should unlock and, you know, not too long, like minutes or two. And I think because I'm, you know, I I love humor. I love speaking my truth. I'm kind of direct and I think it aligned with him and with the mission. So he, uh, he said, yes. So I'm, I love that. Yeah. I, there was a line that you told me earlier. You said that, you know, I think sometimes we just need to help each other out. And yeah, I was like, oh, that's, that's a very, that's yeah, a very that's direct also a statement. Thing. I love that. Yeah, I actually said, you know what? If you say yes, then I will accept it as a sign of the universe. <laughs> and that was also something that I said. And um, yeah, so for me, it was like, I get, I got to, white flag so go for the vault even if everybody was saying what what is the vault you should call it like something like mindset no i said no i'm not not listening to the experts <laughs> i'm listening to myself i want to call it the vault because there is a culture behind it there is a mission and a, a message behind it so sometimes it's okay to be stubborn if it feels super good to you because probably you are on the right track and doing what everybody else is doing is not going to set you apart from anybody else so dare Mm -hmm. to stand for what you believe in and uh create the culture yeah and if you're doing it and you hate it what's the point you're not gonna keep it up consistency is the key to everything why even start something that you know you don't want you know lauren i think i don't know how many 70 percent of new podcasts stop after within the six months because it's taking so much time and it's 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 you know, they don't see the direct effects or whatever. And it's, it's, it's a whole new uh, branch in your business, right? But mm-hmm. 
when you decide to start, make sure you have a culture and a mission and a why you're looking forward to because you need to be in the game for at least three years. At least that's what I hear from all the experts uh, yeah. having a podcast for a six, seven, eight, nine years that you need to, to really commit to showing up and doing it for the long run. I love that. So I know we're getting really close to time. This has gone by super fast. I'd yeah. love for you to just share a little bit about you beyond the vault. What are you up to? How can people work with you and get plugged in with all things Sonia? Yeah, so I'm a mindset mastery coach and also an online business coach uh, specifically for high tickets. So if you're, for example, a transformational coach and you uh, have difficulties leveling your business up or scaling, I can help you. Um, yeah, get your first five figure month within 90 days without paid ads. So we're really going for the organic strategy and using Facebook. So that's one thing that I'm doing, really getting you out of that uh, money mindset <laughs> limitations but also when you already have some strategies and courses and you bump into yourself and you have these um, things holding you back from really getting to your next level when it comes to your business or your influencers business, I also uh, offer mindset coaching and uh, I will help you break through and let you flow and have this business you are um, seeing in your vision. So uh, when people want to find me, I'm most active on Facebook, I must say, because uh, I believe in mastery. So I've been dedicating my time to Facebook and all the Facebook strategies. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, a little, little less active, but that will be more active in the coming uh, uh, months. And um, you can find me on www.soniamartinovic.com. That is, uh, if you write out Martino and then add O-V-I-C, then you, it's not V-I-P, but V-I-C <laughs> dot com, then, uh, then you can find me through my website. Amazing. And that will be linked out in our show notes as well as how you can check out the vault and tune in, subscribe, hear more from Sonia and all the amazing humans that she's bringing onto her show. It's going to be really, really amazing guys. So make sure you tune in Sonia. Thank you so much for being here with us today and sharing all your wisdom and knowledge. So grateful for you. This has been wonderful. Thank you so much, Laura. And it was so much fun to be on your podcast and um, wishing you so much luck with it. Oh, thanks so much. All right. Till next time, everyone. Keep it stabby. Remember, our next magic hour is coming up. So make sure you've RSVP'd. Head over to unicornexchange.com slash events. You can also find today's show notes there on the website under podcast, unicornexchange.com slash podcast. Can't wait to talk with you soon. Until the next episode, keep it stabby, unicorns.